published 1315 EDT, the 26th of August 2017 updated 1316 EDT, the 26th of August 2017 Celtics long unbeaten domestic run was under threat from St. Johnston until substitute Callum McGregor's late strike earned the home side a 11 draw. The Hoops, unbeaten in 52 previous games against Scottish opponents, went into the Ladbrokes Premiership encounter on a high after reaching the Champions League for the second successive season in midweek and being drawn against Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain and Anderlecht. However, a slack clearance from goalkeeper Craig Gordon left Stephen McLean with time and space to knock the ball into the net. Callum McGregor scored an 80th-minute goal to preserve Celtic's unbeaten run on Saturday Saints, the last Scottish side to beat Celtic in May 2016, survived a second-half onslaught until the 80th minute when McGregor, on four Anthony Ralston, eventually got the breakthrough with a low drive. Both sides remain unbeaten in the league this season after four games, but it is Aberdeen who sit top of the table after their 43 win at Partick Thistle. The afternoon did not start well for St. Johnston manager Tommy Wright, who had to turn to his bench after only a minute. After around six minutes of treatment midfielder Murray Davidson was carried off on a stretcher with a head knock following an aerial duel with hoop skipper Scott Brown and Aaron Comrie, the 20-year-old defender making his first Saints start. Liam Craig took Davidson's place and Saints looked comfortable enough as the game unfolded. In the 21st minute Brown set up James Forrest at the edge of the box, but his low drive was well saved by Saints keeper Alan Manis down at his right-hand post. However, the Perth side were not finding themselves under any sustained pressure and indeed on a break just on the half-hour mark Craig fizzed a shot over the bar. McGregor's leveler saw Brendan Rodgers side draw a Levon with St. Johnston at Park had the McDermott Park side went one step further with five minutes to go in the first half when Gordon's nonchalant clearance was blocked by Craig back to the unmarked McLean, who turned and from 12 yards casually stroked the ball past the Celtic keeper. Celtic took some time to reassert themselves and, deep into the six minutes of time added on at the end of the half for Davidson's injury, Scott Sinclair slalomed past four defenders but his drive from 16 yards was saved by Manis. Home boss Brendan Rodgers replaced Oi Ivier and T. Jam and James Forrest with Stuart Armstrong and Johnny Hayes for the start of the second half and in the 53rd minute Armstrong forced Manis into a fine fingertip save under his bar with a 20-yard drive. The treble winners stepped up the pace but Saints could have made it 20 when a brilliant cross from defender Brian Easton found McLean, whose header from point-blank range was saved by Gordon, with the Saints striker toe poking the loose ball into the side netting. McGregor replaced Ralston before Tom Rogic, amid relentless pressure, zipped a 30-yard drive inches past the post. Celtic have not lost to a Scottish team in 53 games, but the players looked frustrated to draw the Australian international and the hoop support then claimed unsuccessfully for a handball when his drive was blocked in a packed St. Johnson penalty area. There was uproar among the hoop's support in the 71st minute when McLean was only booked by referee Willie Collum for lifting his arm at Celtic left-back Karen Tierney. Menes made a terrific save from Lee Griffith's powerful drive from the edge of the box, but he had no chance when, during yet another Celtic attack, the ball broke to McGregor and from 16 yards he fired past a throng of players into the net. The final stages were frantic. The home side kept driving forward and, from a quickly taken Tierney free kick, Sinclair struck the bar with an angled drive. Michael Lustig headed off the bar from a Griffith's corner and Manis made a save at his back post from a Hayes header, with Saints hanging on through three tenths added minutes for the point. A draw for St. Johnston is a good result, but an injury to Murray Davidson will cause concern.